All right, now the method to the madness is this. We need to take a picture that looks just like the scream. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find the perfect bridge, the perfect sunset, and then basically it's just a matter of doing this, taking a picture and then putting that into the AI. Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that because, well, I live in Iceland and there is no freaking sunset. You know, the sun doesn't set until like, what is it, like one? At night, I completely lost count how many times I actually went outside to try to find the perfect sunset. Anytime I saw the sun sort of setting in the distance, I was like, oh, I need to go outside right now. And then I bolted towards the next bridge that I found. And at that time, the sun was gone. But, you know, we're working in the digital domain, so we can pretty much do whatever we want. We can just, you know, replace the sky. I'm super, super lucky to live in Iceland because during summer, during the pandemic, Iceland was pretty much zero case for a long time. And that allowed us to traverse the entire country to try to find a bridge that I could do this scream thing with. And I found buttons of bridges. Some were small, some were medium, some were larger. Then I found this one. Once I saw this bridge, I was thinking, yep, that's the bridge. That's the bridge where I'm gonna make the scream. So I got my nephew to help me. I gave him the camera. He took a couple of pictures of me doing the screen pose on the bridge and they kind of suck. Um, nothing against him. He was doing a great job. However, when dialing in the settings on the camera, I asked my nephew to sort of just stand in the place where I was going to be standing to do the screen pose. I took a picture of him and this is the picture and it looks perfect. It's just the perfect, perfect picture. Now the only thing left to do is do the editing. Let's check it out. First program we're going to use is Photoshop on iPad. Just going to use that in order to sort of get the composition right, put my nephew in the right place, lower the height of these mountains, and a few other tiny tweaks. Then we're going to put that into Procreate and just to make him look a little bit more cartoonish like the character in the screen. Okay, so now we have the screen composition, right? It looks pretty, pretty similar to the screen, except for the colors and the sky. So let's fix that. In order to do so, I took the picture from the iPad, sent it over to my PC and opened it up in a program called Luminar. I have an affiliate code in the description. You go ahead and check that and get $10 off your first purchase. It is fantastic to do this sort of work. Replacing the sky, you can do that with a single click. We can choose from the ones that Luminar provides or we can put in our own. And I actually want to use this image right here. It's of these Nacrarius clouds. And it's theorized that this is the sort of clouds that Edward Munch saw when he was painting the screen. I mean, they definitely look similar. So I'm gonna use this image right here. I'm gonna put that right over here, tweak a few things. And there we go. Now we have the clouds in the image. Just, oh, so perfect. Look at this. Let's activate the AI now and let it do the work for us. So we just need to upload the image to the machine learning style transfer system, let it run for a couple of hours, and then we come back and see the results. Two hours later. Holy s What? That works so freaking well. Look at that. You can definitely see sort of the AI artifacts once you just sort of look at the texture. Okay, so to finish this image off, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this image back to my iPad and I'm gonna work on it for a few hours. And there it is, the Scream version two. This is so, so much better than I thought it would be. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. So thank you all so much. If you want to get any of the resources that I use on a daily basis, any of the brushes that I use or stuff like that, then go ahead and check out www.artanddesign.tv. Other than that, have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.